you already know hey what's up i know polyphia's the shit you should have sped this video up you should do that polyphia od i've not heard this but i need to catch up because tim oh oh ah Ooh. some people say that man playing god <laughs> Man, the do be taking beats off. Book it a do. That's my that's my musical analysis. Notice in this part, let's back up. Notice the drums are now more present and the guitar slowed down. Contrast between a lot and a little. Now the drums have a lot and the guitars are doing a little. You're gonna shoot me, probably for stopping. Uh, I think the drums are the most important part here. Change my mind. I think the most musical, uh, the most important underlying thing is the dick dick gun. Dick dick gun. You can almost strip everything away, and it's just dick dick gun. Dick dick gun. And then the rest is filling up the space. Dick dick gun. Book a dick 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 I'm gonna call it, let's call this part the breakdown, although breakdowns are usually heavier. I think this break, I think in general, breakdowns are a contrasting, a heavily contrasting section. This is heavily contrasting to the speed of the guitars and basses earlier and also the speed of the drummer. This is a slow section, even though the drummer's got some cool little fills in there. I think this is our, our rest and relaxation section. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Yeah, you could also call it an interlude. You can call it an interlude, a bridge if it takes you somewhere else. In general, the most easy way to describe something like that is a contrasting section. This is specifically a contrast to what we heard before. How you want to label it and how it functions in the song is, you know, up to interpretation. But this is straight up a contrast. <laughs> We're heading back. I would assume we're heading back to the original part or something kind of like the original part. We're heading out of the contrast.
You got reverse sounds. Reversed. You play them backwards. Hey. Yeah. Insert trap rap here. The mannequin just got up. That's just fire, dude. Cat trumpet. We don't have time for cat trumpet. What I would say out of everything that you could say, I would say, and you're, you probably would laugh. I would say the coolest part is people coming in off the beat. Right? When most people play really fast, and especially guitarists, uh, when we play really fast, especially like to a, a metronome, we come in on the beat and we stay fast. You know, it's triplets, triplet, 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 one e, two, uh, da, 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 or sixteenth notes, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a or fives. Tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in, tuck it in. And when you take that downbeat off, it can be hard to enter in time. But a lot of these licks by Tim and I will learn the other guy's name because he's also a phenomenal player. They're all they're all great, but but they play fast, and they, they're off on the downbeat, and then come back in on the middle of the beat or the end of the beat and are right in time. And that can be really, really tricky. If playing fast is hard, then taking beats off is even harder. Because when you play lots of notes, the note you played before gives you a home base to go to the next note you're going to. But taking notes off. So, okay. I probably have had a little bit too much smearing off. But let's try something simple. I'm saying that not because I really think it's simple, but because I should be able to do it, you know. I'm going to talk to you. Let's take the 16th notes. 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a... 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a... Now, what happens if you take different parts of the, the beat off? Let's say you just want to do the second, the, the last two notes of the, of the 16th notes. So one E, the and a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a. But the clap, at least I still have the clap to keep me in here. But if I was just playing, it'd be like and a, and a, and a, and a. Or what if you just took beat one off? Um, e and a, e and a, e and a, e and a, e and a. Use your head nod. E and a, E and a, E and a, E and a, which is three notes, which most people would turn into a triplet, but it's not ba 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 ba. It's E and a, E and a, E and a. So I think that's the really clever cleverness. Obviously, they're shredding their faces off. We're all getting our faces melted by the amazing guitar shit that's going on. Uh, but there's always two. There's more than two, but the two main parts of music in general is rhythm and pitch. Rhythm and pitch. There's lots of other shit going on, but the two main ingredients are rhythm and pitch. So when people think about speed, they just think about um, just the pyrotechnics of it all and the notes you choose, but the gaps, the gaps. I think, was it Miles Davis? I don't know, man, don't quiz me, but it's like the silence is as important as the notes. What you don't play is as important as what you do play. And it's kind of interesting to see a prog rock group really utilizing silence. Even though when you listen, nothing's really silent because the drummer's playing or the bass player's playing. But when you think, think about it by instrument, a lot of the instruments have silence in them. Elements of silence are taking a beat off or half a beat off or two, you know, two sixteenths, which would be half a beat or one sixteenth or something like that. And yeah, that's my attempt to appear scholarly. Boop, boop, doo, doo, doo. I'm gone.